Hey, this is Isaac with 2B Green Consulting, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can start your own lawn care business much easier than you think. Okay, I'm going to be talking about the three main pillars that you have to learn. You have to hone in on what service you're going to choose, you're going to have to learn how to market, and you need to choose what equipment you are actually going to purchase. The reason why I'm teaching you this today is because I see so many people wanting to get into the industry, but they are halted by just their mind, overthinking and not knowing what steps to take. I've chosen to develop this channel because, like I said, I want to help starting entrepreneurs develop and excel in the green industry. Let's get started. Service. Now, when I, I was in your exact situation as well, I didn't know what service to choose, but my problem was not a lack of imagination. My problem was a overthinking problem. So I was thinking that I needed the most complicated services I needed to stand out just on my services, and I even had self-doubt that I couldn't do it. When, serving, when choosing a service, I'm gonna make this super easy for you. You need just a base service, a simple service. Doesn't have to be complicated, doesn't have to be fancy. Just needs to be something that your customers need. Now, how do we choose this base and simple need? That's gonna be done by looking at what other companies, what they offer, and seeing where you can fit in as a sub service. This is big. The reason why you have to offer a sub service is because we cannot compete with the other large companies on their level yet because we are not able to perform the same service. Reason why is two reasons, very simple reasons. We don't have the equipment they need because we don't have the starting capital and we don't have the experience they need. You're not going to start out doing huge, complicated uh, waterscape fountains. Okay, so we can't compete on that level. But what you can compete on is a subservice. So let's say they offer intricate lawn mowing. You can offer it and you can come in and you do hedge trimming, you can do cleanup. See how these subservices, they allow you to step in underneath these other companies, start crafting a part of the market, and you don't need a lot of equipment, startup capital. This is perfect for you. This is perfect for me as well. Next, marketing. Realize that you are starting out and online marketing, no. The reason why is because online marketing, you really need to stand out. You need to stand out according to your service. And we are really, even though a subservice is valued by the community and you're going to get work, the marketing via online, it's not going to benefit you that much. Online marketing really works well when you can stand out with a flashy service and other reviews. It's not really good for starting out. So instead, with marketing, you are basically going to be selling you. What that means is that you are presenting yourself as someone who your customers are going to, want, going to want to do business with. You are presenting yourself as somebody who's going to save your customers time. You are going to improve upon the service the other companies offer. That's where you can fit in, and this is where you are selling you. Also, with marketing, your marketing really starts when you choose your service. That's because for choosing a service, you're doing market research. You are starting, you might go out down your street and ask people, hey, what, what services are you currently offering? What services are you currently lacking? That is a perfect position for you to step in and you can start marketing yourself. Hey, I'm, I'm thinking about starting this business where I can help you with these three things. Would that be something that you're interested in? So realize that your marketing, this is, this is this order that it goes in, but your marketing can start at the service choice side. Finally, your equipment that you, that you need. Because now, now we have found a valid service that your customers need, and we have started to market you and get your brand name, even not, it might not even be a brand name yet, but just getting your name out there. Now is the time to purchase equipment. 
this is again where I see so many people make the same mistakes. They're th they think that they need super fancy equipment. They think they need to spend tons and tons of money. And eventually, this is what holds them up because they're overthinking and they think, you know, I don't have the money to buy all this equipment. I really can't succeed in the marketplace. The important part, this goes, again, everything goes back to the service you choose. You choose a simple service because you don't have the money to buy a bunch of expensive equipment. So instead, you align your equipment with the service you provide. So let's say you're doing cleanup. All you need is a rake, a shovel, a set of gloves, and maybe a wheelbarrow. Even if it's on your street, you don't even need a mode of transportation. So with equipment, so many people get it wrong just because of the service misconceptions that they're having. Everything goes back to our false beliefs with the service that thinking that we need to compete on the ultra high level with the other companies in order to be successful. No. So with equipment, it just comes back to aligning with the initial service. Realize that as you build, right now you're just offering this service. You make some money in that, you build, you offer another service. Again, you'll purchase more equipment, you'll offer another service. Again, and that goes up, goes up, goes up until you are with the other companies and competing with them. That is the stage you're going to take. And the beautiful part about this is that you are aligning every service with the same customer, customer base. You're going to keep building your brand and you're going to be able to keep a strong customer base that knows you and your company for one central industry line. The reason why I discuss this order is because, and I'll put it on the screen, the central idea of sell before build. Why we have to do this is because we're starting in the industry, there are so many ideas that we don't know yet. We don't know yet exactly what our customer needs. We don't know exactly if we're going to be able to succeed in this market. Maybe we need to go to a different market. That's why we sell our services before we build our services. That's why we decide on the service, we market the service before we invest in equipment. This is the most straightforward path that you can take when you're starting out. Going service by service. Okay? Now I realize that this was a very quick presentation just discussing the overall path that you have to take and the path that you can take starting from a beginner maybe in high school or college. What I can offer you outside of this presentation is a personalized plan according to you. I'm going to learn exactly your skill set, I'm going to learn exactly more about your community, and I'm going to be advised on the exact service that you need to provide. With that, I'm going to discuss the exact equipment that you need to buy, your marketing plans, spreadsheets on how much to charge, all of the above. That's going to be a link down in the description. It's going to be a free one-to-one -one conversation with me. Again, this is Isaac Beard with 2B Green Consulting. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.